Hey loves, I want to encourage you to let go of the old, the old identities you have, the old excuses, the old things that don't serve you anymore, to let all of those go and embrace and declare the new you. And that can be a bunch of like little things that accumulate to a big thing or it can just be like a decision where you're like, I'm so fucking done with that old identity and old version of myself and I'm fully and completely stepping in to the new me, the new version of me, the new chapter of my life, the new process of this journey that I'm on, whatever like framework and point of view you want to have on it, that you're like just fucking done with the old and that you're like owning the new you and stepping into her or him. And I encourage you guys to do that in whatever way that feels best for you. And I'm like <clears throat> feeling called to share like so many things, but I'm going to like be intentional of like, I have something that I'm going to be doing in seven minutes. So this is just really strongly coming through because I have definitely gotten in points of my life where I've felt like I'm in a transition space where I even identify the like time in my life where I'm like, oh, I'm transitioning. I'm transitioning from corporate to full-time entrepreneurship. I'm transitioning from like having physical spaces where I do my work to all online. Like I'm transitioning and I like call them transition spaces. And there's definitely times where that's been super beneficial for me and I create really awesome containers and I'm like, yes, like this is what's happening. This is how I'm showing up. This is like the play that I'm in right now. And then there's times where I'm like, I'm just fucking done with it. Like there is no there on the healing journey and there's no like final destination or arrival point. And I remember when that was like a really hard point for me to like fully realize when I was doing so much personal development, so much like coaching and therapy and healing and all these things. And it was like, there has to be like a done. Like in school, at some point you complete a course or you complete a textbook or you complete something and you like get your mark and you get like gold stars and 100% and like you're done. But there's nothing like that on the healing journey. There's deeper layers and more onions to heal. And it's just like this really beautiful, deep journey that we get to go on and that we get to heal and keep working through. So I remember like back in 2016 when I had transitioned from my like burnout job to like a transition job, which was a beneficial thing. I'm like, I'm not ready to go from my like accounting career right straight to full-time entrepreneurship, I'm gonna have a transition job. And that supported me. I thought I'd have it for like five to 10 years and I had it for like a year and a couple months and then I was able to do this full-time. So that was a beneficial place to be like, this is transitional. But I remember being like, okay, I've healed so much of like letting go of people and things and ideas of all the different old paradigms that didn't serve me in my life that I could clear release and let go of those. And then I was like, okay, cool. Like I've healed so much codependence. I've gotten rid of the toxic people in my life. I'm doing these things that are like deeply nurturing to my soul. And I'm doing really awesome self care and have these really healthy practices in my life. Yay. And then I'm like, oh, there's feminine energy. Like there's a whole onion of feminine energy that I'm like, I've been really in my masculine my entire life. And I remember just like bawling being like, there's all of this work to do. Now I have to do all of these things being like, I thought that there was going to be a done on this journey in some way. So that's the like unhealthy point of, and I've had clients even this week who I've like gone over these um, aspects of the journey with, with the fact that you're not wrong for not being done, that there is no done complete, you're not gonna get a gold star on this journey. And there can be some wounds that you're just working through at different levels, at different depths, at different stages on your journey. Like there's cycles and this is like, especially with fall happening, like there's cycles that happen within our body, especially as women with our menstrual cycle. Like we have cycles and waves and we flow and it's not meant to be like a linear journey or to be like, check yes done on our journey. So I invite you guys to shift your mindset on what should be versus what is and allow yourself to like let go of those old identities or paradigms or expectations of what this journey should look like and accept what is that, yeah, there's been like general themes of certain things happening in your life. Like ones that continue to show up for me are like boundaries. So like boundaries have been, I think I firmly did it with like family first, then friends, then coworkers, then like my own business and then clients and then 
partner and then clients and like it keeps stacking of all these different lessons of like speaking my truth, speaking up, having boundaries, clearing throat chakra stuff, shining my light brighter and brighter. Like those tend to be deeper and deeper things that I experience and get to heal and work on and evolve through on my journey, which is super, super interesting. And instead of perceiving it how you're a failure for not having it done, I really, really, really invite you to look at it as this like exciting piece where this is coming up to the surface or you're being triggered by this again or there's another piece of you that's ready to be healed because there's more there because you're going to have a more incredible, freer, happier, joyful, abundant, fulfilling life on the other side of this. Like, and I totally had this too. Like, I remember when I started doing Reiki and like working on different like heart walls or shields or like energies in my body that didn't serve me. I'd be like, okay, well the big one's gone. Like the big ones. And we've done this process a couple times now. Like there's still a little thing. <laughs> and not wanting to bring it up. And I had a client this week who's like, there's still more here. And I'm like, yeah, I could feel it. Like that's what's like the thing about having empaths as healers is that we know that there's still some stuff there. It's just like, do you want to acknowledge it and heal it right now? And it's coming up to the surface for your highest and best good. And that's what I like love about the journey is that you're not going to be aware of it until it's time for you to acknowledge it and heal it and move through it. So that's a really like beautiful process. And to shift our mindset gives us so much more freedom and excitement and gratitude on experiencing these things versus just feeling like we're still not good enough or that we are a failure or that we're not finishing the journey or especially when we get in the comparison mode or like judging our journey compared to others, that those are like the unhealthy areas of life and we can just choose to be really grateful for what is coming up for us, what we get to work on, what we get to heal, what our soul chose is like our soul contracts of things to work on within our own life and within ourselves to do all these beautiful things. And I am super excited that I've officially like closed the chapter of this like transition feeling that I've been in of this year where I'm like, I don't really know where I'm being called to go. Like when I was in Santa Monica, I felt incredible. And that was like in March. And then I'm like, awesome. I'm going to come back. And the partner that I was with at the time was like, Ooh, let's maybe go to BC and like explore that a little bit. So I was like, Ooh, I really like the feeling of BC and I like the feeling of Bali and I like the feeling of Europe right now. And I like the feeling of all these things. And then I was kind of just, accepting that I was in this transition space, that I was feeling like this transition energy happening. And it was beautiful, but then it's like, okay, the universe was starting to give me signs where it's like, you're done this. You don't have to be here anymore. You can step up and you're ready. Like you are so fucking ready for the next things. So I've had to end relationships and close chapters and clean out parts of my closets and like things that don't serve me and do the energy work on letting go of that old identity and the old ways that I showed up and fucking decide that I'm this next level version of myself. So I loved slash was in resistance of energy of yesterday, <laughs> like yesterday in particular. Um, like I woke up without my alarm clock and I felt awesome and I like made my bed and just took care of myself and started my day with like awesome soul sister client calls. And like, it was so good. And I was like super anticipating and like excited for the first call that I was having in the program that I invested in called Sales Power. And I was so excited for it. And then like on the day I'm like, so I'm done my calls and I'm like having lunch now and now I'm getting like really anxious. And I haven't felt anxious and like overwhelmed and like heavy energy like that. Like to the point of like overwhelm and it being too much for a while and I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I haven't felt like this in ages. And it was super, super interesting to me because then I was like, okay, like I'm going to see a new chiropractor today and it's just for like period pain. Like I don't have any main big issues in my body or anything, but, um, a couple years ago I went to see a chiropractor and I like was very in alignment, but I just wanted to like, I'm all about prevention. Um, so I did some work with him and then I'm like, okay, well I have a new chiropractor that I'm going to see today. So that could be what some of this is for, but I'm also having a call and then I have like a new role play thing right after it. And I kind of don't feel like I'm like the best at sales at all the sales calls at doing higher end offers and all those things 
which I'm like, okay, well maybe the cumulative of all that is like kind of bringing up some energy, but I was kind of just like curious with it. I'm like, what is this? What needs to be seen here? What's coming to the surface for me to clear? And I'm so grateful that I have developed over the past like decade of my life, an inner voice that is my cheerleader, that the critic voice is so much smaller and quieter versus like my powerful cheerleader that's like, it's okay, you can do it. Like the little ego voice and like the fears is like, okay, well like everything that you don't want to do that you're not like, that is all of a sudden feeling like not great in the body to do is like after five o'clock. So like, what if we like give you a headache? What if we like get you feeling sick or something? And I'm like, hey, no, <laughs> like I'm so fucking showing up for these things. What are you talking about? So my like good, like best friend cheerleader voice that I've instilled in my body for such a long time was like, turn on music. <laughs> So like I turned on music and I sang to it and then I got to the point where I could dance and move that energy out of my body and I utilized like essential oils and um, I have these like really delicious chocolate muffins that I make that are like healthy and I popped them in the oven so that I had like melted chocolatey goodness and I'm like oh my god. So I was doing all these things to make myself feel better, to nurture my own body in the moment. I also did a little bit of stretching, like I did all of my tools to bring myself back to center so that I could feel really good where I was taking deep breaths and I felt really, really good after like maybe half an hour of sitting with it and doing those practices. And then I felt like really great and excited again. And then I went along my day <laughs> and I had an awesome chiropractor appointment and like legit, it's so interesting. I've been so conscious in the past month of not crossing my legs because it has been a habit that is instilled in me from a very young age that girls just like sit down and we cross our legs and most women tend to do that but I'm aware that that definitely brings hips and alignment out of the most optimal <laughs> alignment that we can have in our body so I've been really good at not sitting with my legs crossed um, but this is just to, like bring my hips into alignment so that I won't have like period cramping because I've been doing like the work that's been coming up around clearing period pain throughout the past almost two years now since March of 2018 when I got off the pill and then I just had excruciating period pain and you can have whole periods that aren't painful and I'm moving towards that so that I can embody that and then I can teach more about that to other women but like this is a whole thing sidebar to any women who have like painful periods there are so many natural ways to like support our bodies and our hormones and our actual like bone structure he got me to like put so i was laying down on my stomach and kicked my legs up to see how far I, up i could do it and then he did like little adjustments and i had so much more range of motion and i was like holy fucking shit so he's like this is awesome he's like i'm really young doing this kind of work so he's like yeah a couple of visits this will like be great and i'm like yes <laughs> um, so then I was like super excited and lit up from that and then I was like really excited for my sales call and it was interesting because the recording ones that we had it was all like people called in there wasn't like video and like that little voice showed up again of like you're not good enough like other people aren't on video right now you don't have to be on video like you showed up to the call like this is good enough definitely don't put yourself on video and I'm like okay thank you little fears and like not good enough voices but like again I can do this, I'm showing up for this, I'm stepping into the next level version of myself, yay. So I put myself on video and I asked questions and I showed up in the chat and I'm like, yes, I am fully showing up as the next level version of myself for the next chapter of my life. And like doing these little things are the little things that move you towards owning that, to fully claiming and embodying who you are instead of just being like, I wish that I could have that, I wish that I could have the life of my dreams. I wish that I could have a life like hers or the Instagram person that you follow or your favorite mentor or guru, like you showing up when you get those like little inspired action steps in your head where it's like the fear could totally be talking and like my fear was totally talking as I was doing these things, but also my like internal guidance system is so much stronger than any of these like fear voices. So. I deeply, deeply, deeply encourage you to do that work so that you can be operating from that knowing of like, I'm meant for this. Like, of course this is for me. And then you can kind of see that little voice is like hilarious. It's like, that's not true. Like, I get that you're trying to keep me small 
and thank you and I honor you and like I'll do the work around that when that happens but you don't have to listen to your fears you can show up with fear to expand and grow into the next level version of yourself and then I had an extraordinary time with a role play buddy after the call I'll definitely tag her in the comments I'm gonna do a love and light show with her um, her name's Hannah and I'm going to like share all of her awesome goodness with you because she's a really fantastic high vibe soul sister energy um, business coach and I loved like our conversation and her energy and we literally did like full role, role plays like we did an hour of me role playing for her and like I had a lot of breakthroughs even like going through that process because we have kind of a new foundation of how to approach things versus like in the coaching world, we're taught a million and two ways of how to market and advertise and sell our services and share our gifts with the world. And I really like that there's now this like foundational structure because I've definitely teetered in my life between like up until maybe 24, like the hyper masculine, workaholic, 110% energy versus the divine feminine flow and leaning into those things and having that balance. So I've definitely gone from like extremes of even in my own business being like workaholic as an entrepreneur to like totally free flowing and like just focusing on my alignment and my self care and what's feeling good and like finding that harmony <laughs> of the energies together for everything to just click better is always like fun to play with. <laughs> so I started first where like she was my pretend client and it was so interesting to see like I'm like there's so many things okay so like the breakthroughs of how I have done things because in the past definitely when I've done clarity calls I've been an over 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 giver like a big thing and this is like to not coach to not like give them the band-aids so that they won't see that it's important to do the deeper work that you can give them just the tip and I love that that you can give them the tips and the framework and the structure but not like solve one of their surface level problems so that they think okay I'm good I'm done and I'm like I like held back in my call and she was like you were super super generous with your generous pieces of like coaching and support and all these things and I'm like really because I'm like I give way more on calls usually <laughs> because and I loved her reflection of she could feel in my energy how much I just wanted to serve her in that moment that I just wanted to fix her problem and like even I was kind of like joking but kind of serious but like I'm like well after the call I'm like I can totally just do downloads to like clear this for you because I love how easily some things can shift like I love theta healing because it just taps into your subconscious gets the root and then clears it so that you're good for the fucking rest of your life like it is the thing that lights me up the most so it's interesting that in this way we're learning from sales power it's like giving them the tip not fully healing it not fully solving it because you can't like in a 30 minute call you can't like have long lasting huge impactful changes on people's life and their rituals and how they show up a 30 minute call can't do that so obviously working with coaches and mentors and healers for longer terms of time. I'm getting notifications. I'm going to have to end this soon. I just got really excited. <laughs> um, obviously, the longer you work with a coach and mentor, the more transformation you can get. So it was interesting that that came through in the call where I'm like, I still wanted to give so much more and that's gonna be like an area where I can improve on to be like, okay, I can give the framework and I can give the understanding and create a space for them to understand what they can do on their own and how they can like go forward if they choose to and also like what that pathway looks like with support, with my own coaching and mentorship and support, which is super fun. And there was like so many things. Um, also when she like heard my prices, she's like, that's really low. <laughs> and I like want my head to like hide whenever people say that. And the first time that was like super embarrassing to me was at Life and Wealth Mastery last summer. And I like had so many awesome connections from that. And I had a friend from Canada and she was kind of like my little hype woman. She like loved the work that I do. And then she'd go around and tell other people. And cause like 
learning how to muscle test is phenomenal. If anyone's on here who doesn't know how to muscle test, I literally love empowering everyone with this tool. So all you do is put your thumb and finger together and it works because your muscles are connected with your subconscious mind. So if you're lying to yourself, your muscles break apart, so that's a no, because you're lying to yourself. And if it's a true statement, then it stays together for yes. So yes is it's strong, no is a break. So you use your other fingers as like pliers for like, just seeing if it's gonna open or close and hold and you're like, okay. So I'm just doing this so you can see it better. Hold it as if you have like an imaginary $20 bill that you don't want to blow away in the wind. So like it's enough pressure where you're holding, but it's not like a workout where you're cutting off your blood supply and like never going to let go of that $20 bill. If you have to imagine like it's a $1 bill, you can do that. <laughs> so then I can say out loud, my name is Laura and pull. So my name is Laura and it stays strong. My name is Jack and it breaks. So everyone on live or on the replay can test that out. It's super empowering because then you can tap into your subconscious and sometimes half of the solution is knowing clearly what the problem is. And then when you're like, okay, I know what is coming up, you can just get to the root of it and clear it. So I love that. I love clearing things. And it's very interesting because <laughs> part of my like bigger vision and all these things is like me just doing my zone of genius, which she was talking about is like holding the container and being present and supporting and being super generous and clearing things like that's what I thrive on that's like what I'm most lit up and like here to do in the world and like all the other things in business like the admin things and stuff that could be like delegated to VAs when I'm like getting there soon in my business where I'm going to just like pull the trigger and just let go of things that I don't need to be doing um it's so interesting because I'm like yeah like the things that I have to like learn now to grow my business to the point where I can just focus on my like zone of genius are like it's so interesting and fascinating like what I do discover about myself and about the process and all these things so I feel like I'm all over the place but I'm super excited about like all the things that happened yesterday um so that was from life and wealth mastery I was showing people how to muscle test and then I was doing like little clearings with people which was so fun and I love teaching about the work that I do and I obviously get super passionate and lit up by talking about it so it was super fun there and then when I told people I think at the time I was still doing like $85 an hour for a session or maybe 95 at that point can't really remember um, something around that it was less than a hundred Canadian so it was even less for American and they were like, it's that low to work with you and do these things. And I literally did like some downloads for someone and it was like a couple minutes. And she's like, that was a huge shift. That felt so much better. And she like just gave me a $20 bill for like, okay, I can't tell you about the whole premise of the game in Life and Wealth Mastery, but there's a thing where like you give an exchange of something and she like gave me a $20 American bill. And that was like the first time my like mindset expanded of like a transformation is just worth instant money instead of like the old paradigm system of how hairdressers and massage therapists are charged like hourly rates even accountants like lawyers like they show up and they do something for an hour that's what you're getting is an hourly rate service versus just like you provide transformation and deep benefit for someone and that's what they want they don't give a fuck how much time it takes or all the things they just want to shift and clear and release things. So I went to Life and Wealth Mastery with the intention of like up leveling my money mindset and my abundance and all those things and to step into new levels of like all these things. And it's super interesting because part of Life Mastery is a cleanse. So I did the cleanse, I was super proud of myself. It's a liquid cleanse. <laughs> so we only had liquids for five days and I did like the clonics and I did all the like investments of all the things and then we went like in the wealth master, you like transition into salads and I've never been so excited to have a salad for breakfast in my entire life. <laughs> and that was supposed to be like the epitome in my mind of like check mark, my body's good. Like I detoxed from sugar. I had done so much work beforehand to get my body to the point where I'm like, okay, this is gonna be a good experience. And I didn't detox that hard. Like other people were having really negative like bathroom experiences detoxing and I was just like my body's awesome like I've already like I drink smoothies every day I eat really clean already 
So I was just like, this is going to be the epitome. And in my mindset at that time last year, I was like, cool. Now I'm going to be this like guru of like health and a clean channel and clarity and just like the best body that I can have and like check mark yes for it. And from that place, create and generate wealth. And the interesting thing is that I came back from that experience and very shortly after my body was really exhausted. And for those of you who've seen different parts of like my stories and journey over the year, like clumps of hair started coming out in the shower. And then I was just like terrified about life. I was just like hair falling out means cancer and death. And this was supposed to be like the top of my mountain, like best ever version of myself and vitality and enthusiasm and like energy. And now I'm like exhausted just being like, the couch is great, let's just numb it and watch TV and pretend that I don't have maybe cancer and like ignore it for a little bit. And I only like ignored it for I think like a week or two and then I'm like, I need to call my doctor and figure out if I have like deficiencies and things or what I've been doing or what's happening. And then I like moved through those lessons and I'm super grateful for the mentor I had at the time who supported me super incredibly through it. And that it's like, okay, there isn't an epitome, like there isn't an end. There like literally isn't as much as I like human ego wanted to have an end of like, yay, good job. Your body's doing everything it wants on all cylinders, awesome. It's very interesting that that was supposed to be like the top and I had gone down to like a new bottom of like, I felt like depressed and I had also gotten off like the birth control <laughs> pill in March. So like my body was like, trying to rebalance its hormones and stuff like that too. So I have no idea what one specific thing or groups of things contributed to that. But I was like, okay, I'm supposed to be like this new epitome. And I was at this new like low and depth of like exhaustion and felt depressed and had my first like suicidal thought come through my head. And I'm like, this isn't okay. My body needs to get like back on balance. Like I'm willing to go back to like how January of this year was like, <laughs> let's just erase all the things that I've been doing and how to reset and like let my body kind of have these things one baby step at a time again so that I can like figure out it in a more <laughs> digestible manner than being like, I just changed like a hundred things. Which one of those things should I shift? <laughs> um, so yeah, it was very interesting because like that story has also come up. Like, I think this is the fourth time that I've told it this week to like clients or people where there really isn't an end of your journey that you're going to continue to grow and expand and learn lessons. And our expectations can sometimes really hurt us because expecting it to be like super awesome and then it not feeling as amazing and fantastic. We can create a lot of stories around that too and create more suffering around it than if we're just like, okay, this is happening in my life. What lessons am I here to learn about this? This is happening for me. Let's keep moving through this and focus on like the better feeling thoughts and that my body is getting better and better every second of every day in every way and do those pieces. So I'm like, I realize that this is all over the place, but it's all connecting. So part of my call last night with me being the client, the potential client on her role play and her going through the process was she's a business coach. So I was in the role play of like a business owner who wants to grow and expand my business, which I'm like, I'm in that place in my life. So I can easily put that hat on for this role play because it's me. Um, and her question was something along the lines of like, when am I going to be there? When is this like transition going to be over? When I, when am I going to officially be in this next chapter, when am I going to be there? What does that look like? And I was just like, fuck, it's just been like excuses and stories in my head. And I had so much resistance when like the goddess title came into my life. I had so much resistance to that. And then I'm like, queen felt really good, but I've been putting it off. I've been like, yeah, I'm doing the steps and the things in my life to like embody the queen for my soul king and like those things. and. It's so interesting because it's literally just a mindset shift of me being like, I am there. Like, yeah, I'm there. And she's like, yeah, you're there. <laughs> and it's so interesting how we do sometimes need external people to reflect that to ourselves. And like, I have clients who are like, yeah, like I pay infinitely more money for the packages that you do work with me on. Like I have 
I've been attracting therapists, which is super, super interesting, um, into my sessions. And I'm like also supporting them to see like bigger and brighter versions of themselves. So in encouraging them to like raise their rates for the spiritual things that they're doing in the new packages, they're also like totally doing that for me, which is like super interesting because they like always feel fantastic after their calls and are just in like such deep gratitude. And it's at a place in my life where I'm like a year ago when I was only charging for like hourly sessions and now I'm like, these are my packages, these are my programs. And for them to still be like, yeah, I paid you thousands of dollars, but still like I'd pay way more. So like you're undercharging. <laughs> it's so interesting to have that reflected back because it's like, yeah, that's like another layer of that dulling my shine, not being ready transition. I'm still in New Brunswick. This is a high amount for like the city that I'm in is not awake and not that conscious and not like compared to other places. Like Moncton is infinitely better. There's obviously BC and California that are like way more higher vibration and a lot more people in the physical <laughs> space where all these things are like super in alignment with them. Um, but yeah, it's just been interesting to like see the unraveling of those stories when you see truth, like when you're like, yeah, I am this person. So I've been officially declaring like as of last night and I think we got done the call at like 1.30 in the morning my time, <laughs> which is super fun. Um, yeah, I've been like in the energy of like, I've fucking declared that I'm the queen of my queendom and like, I'm claiming it, I'm owning it, I am her and it feels awesome. And like, I love the Jesse J song, um, Queen. And like, I've loved that song before and it's like, I love my body, I love my skin, I am the goddess, I am a queen. And I've loved that, but there's still been those steps in my head where I'm like, well, not until I do this with my body do I become the queen. Not until I meet my soul king do I become the queen fully. Not until, and it was so interesting to like see those stories, see the illusions and the excuses that were happening, and then to like embody the next level version. So I super encourage you guys to take a look at what your excuses have been, what your transition pieces or chapters, and like, again, there's been times in my life where like a transition job on my way to full-time entrepreneurship was everything that I needed. So I'm not saying that there isn't a time and place for that, but there's definitely that inward knowing where things are starting to come to the surface being like, you're ready for that. You're ready for this next step. You're ready to be doing these things and you can claim it and you can own it and you can declare it. So if you guys are feeling called to share with me, I definitely encourage you to share in the comments below your declaration of who you are now, of this like next level version of yourself, of your body, of your life, of your business, of whatever you're feeling called to declare so you can fully and completely step into her and or him if you're a lovely gentleman on. And I'm gonna check into the comments. And hi Peter and Charles and Jennifer and Amber. And Sharon says, hi Flora, hi Sharon. Hope you're having an awesome day. And hi, Crystal and Adriana says, hello, hello. How are you doing? I'm doing wonderfully. How are you doing, beautiful? And hi, Renee and Bridget says, hi, Laura. Hi, Bridget. Hope you're having an awesome day. And hi, Nadine and Stephanie and Paula. And we did an awesome Love and Light show today with the beautiful Paula. So if you didn't catch that live with us today, definitely go check the replay. And hi, Jerry and Denise and... Kelly and Mariah and Stacy. I hope you guys are all having an awesome day and I love all the loves. You guys are so sweet. And hi Helen and Sherry and Marla and Jennifer and Sharon. I hope you guys are all having a beautiful day and I super encourage you to let that go. To let go of any and all stories and excuses that don't serve you. We're in the fall. Like look at the trees if you're in <laughs> the place where the trees do change color and release their leaves. It's been really interesting to like go on walks and be like there's more tree leaves on the ground. And I really love like the childish thing of like playing and being like, not childish in a bad way, just like the playful child, like I guess feeling of like crunching the leaves, like once they're on the ground and stuff, it's super fun to like hop and do that. So I encourage you guys to clear release and let go of whatever isn't serving you, of whatever old identity or version of yourself that is now more of a constraint than an actual supportive <laughs> title in your life um, and then like fully step into and declare this next level version of yourself or do the little baby steps, the cumulative action steps that will support you in stepping into him or her as you go forward on your journey and I'm sending you guys all so much love.